which is such a nice gift to give to yourself that you see more and more that, wow, it's possible to completely relax and be at ease regardless of what you're thinking and feeling and sensing. And, and that's really the power of this training, that you are actually, you know, you, you, you have that power, you have that ability to train up, to, to rely on open intelligence, which is what we, we call our most natural, relaxed, open state. Like this, just this state of being that doesn't really, yeah, not disturbed by what is streaming through you right now. All the thoughts, emotions, all of this stuff. <laughs> In this training we just call it data, data streams, because it doesn't really matter what it is. What matters is what you do with it. So that's what I, I love with this training, that it really shows you how to. That's the most important question to ask, like how? <laughs> How is it possible to train up the mind to relax more and more as everything is appearing? I just love that, you know, that, that we are not asking you to get rid of anything, to change anything. You're just perfect as you are with everything that is appearing. It's very powerful to receive that, just to hear it. When I came to this training and the first time I heard, ah, oh, you're perfect as you are, I thought, wow, this is incredible. Because in that instant I could see a whole life of self-doubt, for sure, a whole life of self-blame, like this display of, of just the most unkind words that I, that I just gave permission to myself to say to myself. It's quite something to really get real there and see this this dialogue you have with yourself. For many of us, I wouldn't say everyone, but for many of us, it's, it's, it's a war zone at times. Sometimes I, I just reflected that, wow, you know, if, uh, if I said these things to another person, I, you know, I, I, I should deserve prison or something. It's, uh, it's powerful to, to really see all these patterns that we've been trained in and that is really disempowering. So in this training, the first step is that you get more and more real with yourself. You, you train yourself to just see everything as it is. So you're not escaping from it, you're not avoiding it, you're not trying to replace anything that is appearing. You're just supported to, to face it just as it is. You're also trained not to indulge in it, make dramas, make big complications, analyzes. In this training, we just show you how can you let it be as it is. It sounds very simple. It's not always easy to remember. And, um, you know, what's so beautiful is that you can in any, any moment introduce, you, introduce yourself to that which is always perfect the perfection of everything as you are. It hasn't gone anywhere, any anywhere. Even if you doubt for the rest of your life, your ability to recognize your own natural state, your, your perfection, it doesn't go anywhere. So even if you doubt it, it's still there. So right now we can introduce ourselves to it, right now, in this moment. You see that there's something that is just looking through your eyes right now. Something that's just like making you being present here. Something that's just listening. Just relaxing. If you stop thinking for a moment, you definitely introduce yourself to open intelligence, to that natural state. Because if you stop thinking for a moment, right now, you notice that there's something still there, right? Whatever you call that, like an openness, clarity maybe, alertness. It's just something about you that's always with you and that would never harm you, would never disempower you. It's just this crystal-like state of being that doesn't have any, any 
urges or searches or reactions to it. It just allows everything about yourself to be as it is, resting it in its own natural perfection. Just like nature. Just like nature. And that's when you come to see that if you, you know, you might have a thought of, um, you know, self-doubt, for instance, it's a very good, good question. And it appears, and it's there for a while, but if you don't do anything to it, what happens? If you don't do anything to it, you don't try to keep it in place, and you don't try to hold on to it, and you don't try to push it away. You don't do anything with it. You just with it as it is. It will disappear. It will disappear. And then something else comes into mind. And it's powerful to see this about yourself because if you see it in one data stream, you see it for so many other data streams. So that same mechanism is for everything. So then it doesn't really matter so much if you doubt yourself. <laughs> because it's, it's so powerful to really, really see that, wow, this also dissolves with no effort. And it disappears just like a line drawn in water, leaving no trace. Now, this is powerful to hear because when I came to this training, I was sure that my thoughts, my emotions, my memories, my memories had such power to, to you know, limit me. Maybe they had left some black holes. Maybe they had, you know, somehow there was something that would stay with me forever. But actually, this is not true. We might have ideas about it. But the, the, the real truth about who you are is that every data stream just appears and disappears in an endless cycle. There isn't anything there. Nothing, no, nothing can leave a trace. So what other people say and do towards you is the same mechanism. If someone is saying something very disrespectful to you, maybe aggressive, you know, it's there in that moment, you receive that sentence maybe. But if you relax your body and mind, and you're not describing it at all, you're not describing the person, you're not describing, you're just, you just with it as it is, you hear everything, but you don't do anything with it, it's gone. And you would know in that moment if it's the best if I should say something or not say something. That's the power of letting it be as it is because then you don't use your energy, your talents, your time into try to manipulate the situation. You're just clear and you know what to do, which is one of the greatest, greatest results of this training. Because we provide one instruction just one instruction that's with you always that makes you tap into open intelligence in all areas of life, in everyday life. It's, it's not for special people, special circumstances. It's for everyday life, every moment of your life. So you can take a short moment of open intelligence and you repeat that short moment. You repeat it again and again. And to take a short moment is introducing yourself to open intelligence that we just did. You introduce yourself to open intelligence. You see that you have a power to know yourself as this raging data stream. You know, and, and some data streams are very repetitive and that's fine. Some comes often and, and some not. But it's, it's the same opportunity to get to know yourself. So when you take a short moment with this data stream that's raging and it seems to come again and again, you don't describe it, you relax body and mind. It's magic <laughs> because you see in that moment that your power, your complete relaxation, your clarity of mind is not without that raging data stream. It is as it. As it is stirring, there is an inseparable peace, stability, clarity of mind. And I am so happy that this is inseparable 
and that I no longer need to look for this stability, this peace, this stability in certain situations, certain places, certain states of mind, that it can be inseparable from what I'm doing and thinking. It's so important. That was a major shift for me when I met this training because I, I was looking for certain states of, I don't know, no thoughts or bliss or, or I don't know, happiness, uh, just looking for something that would never, it would never happen because life is so unpredictable. All your thoughts and emotions so unpredictable. So it will be like looking in the darkness forever. It's not possible. The, the empowerment of life is to, to tap into that quality of peace, stability, clarity as everything is happening in life. So another, another way which I myself take a short moment is that I, you know, I remind myself that in this moment I don't need to understand why I have these thoughts and emotions. I don't need to look for a cause, I don't need to describe it, I can just hang out as it. Just like, you know, sitting in a beach chair and looking at the ocean and, you know, it's just like happening. So I don't, I really just don't need to do anything with it. And another way is that I just say to myself, I can remain open. I love that, I can remain open even if my data streams are, are maybe, you know, shouting, I hate this person that is saying these bad things to me right now. I hate, 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 hate. But I can rem remain open as this hate. And I don't let that hate overwhelm me and take everything. <laughs> you know how it used to be, like maybe anger or, or you know, you blame yourself because you're always late and you blame, 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 blame. And your whole head is just, or wherever it is, <laughs> your whole, whole system is this blame or the self-doubt. This just takes over. It doesn't need to take over. It can be there. But with the tool of short moments, I love the metaphor of, um, you know, the valley and the mountaintop. It's just really, really good metaphor because how I used to live most of my life was being in different valleys, you know, like, oh, now I'm so sad. There's this sadness now. It's, it's this oh, my life is just changing, I, I'm moving, maybe some, there's some changing, and then I, I was in this valley of, of melancholy and, and sadness, and I was just like, oh, describing every time I was sad, and oh, and just describing it, and all I could see was this valley of sadness. But taking a short moment with that sadness, it is as you are taken up on the mountaintop immediately, not even climbing it, it's just a shortcut, <laughs> you fly up there. And from the top of the mountain, you still see the sadness, you're not avoiding it, this, but you have that view, you see the valley of sadness, but you, you see all valleys of life. You have this complete view, which is the empowerment that any human being can do to him or herself. With this instruction, you have served the solution. And I can tell you, I rather live up there in the mountaintop than in all these kind of valleys because it's, oh, it's just so draining to be so self-focused. To me, being in a valley and just describing now I'm feeling this and I'm describing and I'm just, just, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. But in a short moment, you, you actually see that you are not the only human being feeling this emotion right now. You're not the only human being that at, in this moment feel uncertainty about what to do, where to live. That's fine. It's, not, uh, it's no difference from being certain. Being certain can also be very sometimes afflictive. <laughs> There's just different data streams. So some periods in life we don't know. And to me that's been a an amazing empowerment because before this training I didn't know what to do with the uncertainty. I didn't know what to do with the not knowing. I totally collapsed. I, I was like, oh no, I need to know. So I was so good at avoiding it. I didn't know I was avoiding it, but I felt so uncomfortable and so, ooh. So I did anything 
for, for not being in that, you know. So I made many decisions. I did many quick moves and many changing jobs, changing, changing all the time because I couldn't be in the uncertainty. Now I can, which is amazing. Complete relaxation. It is that knowingness that I will know when I know. And in the meantime, I'm eating and talking and hanging out and doing things. Life is happening anyway. But it's definitely not a, a, like a, I don't know, like a passive state or anything. Life goes on. Just living it fully. This training teaches you how to just live life fully just as it is appearing, which is incredible. It's incredible to live in the inseparability of data and open intelligence. Living in the inseparability of all that you think and feel and all that's going on in your life and that complete ease and stability of mind. This is, this is, this is for you, it's your treasure. You can live like this. Life will be the same, but at the same time, life will completely shift. A complete shift. You will have the same relationships, you will have the same life, but how you're living your life will change. Which is something I really wish deeply for every human being. For sure, for sure we need it. We need it in the world today. And we need role models that really, you know, have tested this single instruction, testing that, wow, I can train my mind. And I'm actually open and willing to train my mind. I see that training my mind is actually the most important training in life, the most important education, it's the most important platform. So that's, you know, why I'm here, because I was open to see that, wow, actually, I can train my mind and I want to train my mind. I want to train my mind to more and more let all data streams just flow on by because then I have access to this clear thinking, clear decision making. Everything just gets clearer. It's easier to live life. So if every human being right now was open to train their mind, it will, it will solve everything, everything. So in this training, we, we provide an education that really, you know, shows you how to do it. The how, how, how is provided here, which is amazing. And that's, you know, what was asked about also. We call it the four mainstays. And um, we will share more about it also. But I just wanted to end with saying that this is, this is an amazing educational package that you can take with you everywhere you are because so much is provided online. You know, we, we have access to, to training media, books, texts, talks. We have access to uh, listen to other uh, trainers and participants sharing their life stories on how this training has empowered their life. It's inspiring. I listen to talks every day. It's so important in my daily life. Like, should I listen to news or talks? <laughs> Sometimes I ask myself, you know, and I, it's, it's like, okay, what do I want to fill my mind with, train my mind with? So it's amazing because we have all this media available. So I also just want to end with saying thank you so much for this incredible season. I love you all so much. And just thank you for your openness to see that you have, you have an unending capacity as your beautiful self. You have an unending capacity. There's just nothing that can limit you. You can think that it can limit you, but actually in the, in the natural truth of who you are, you're just unique and special. And, and that uniqueness is, uh, is yours forever to the benefit of all. <laughs>